Well, hi everybody, Mindy here with the update for week three, day one of the live EA trial on the live account. This week I had the rare opportunity of being able to take a week off. And so I set up the EA over the weekend and just turned it on and let it, you know, let it do its thing pretty much all week. I checked in to it about, oh, I don't know, two o'clock or so in the morning this morning because I'm a night person anyway. And that was right at the time when this little flurry of activity was going on and I thought, oh boy, it looks like it's gonna be a great day. And then I came back to it this afternoon and absolutely nothing else had happened. <laughs> so I checked to see if it was still turned on and it was. And so anyway, it was just and must have been an incredibly slow day in the markets today because it didn't uh, make any trades after this one little flurry of activity about two o'clock in the morning. Now, so anyway, the live count closed two, four, six trades for a big $9.80. The demo account did a little better. Um, it closed two, four, six, eight, ten trades. Three of the ten trades were involved in a hedge fixer. So uh, what we see is that the we have the original trade here, which would be this one, the CUR CAD trade. Then that trade was hedged. So here's the hedge for it. And as you can see, there was about a 20 something dollar difference between the two trades. So the fixer trade went in and made $48 when it closed, which was enough to buy out the original trade and the hedge. So between the combination of the three trades, we had a profit of 48 profit of 65 so that is three 113 and that was more than enough to buy our way out of the $87 loss on the the half of the hedge that was negative at the time so anyway this uh, combination of three trades actually generated a, somewhere close to a 20 dollar profit overall and that's exactly what you want to have happen this is why we hedge our trades because who knows how far the market could move and how ugly this could ultimately become so when they're hedged no problem you know what you know you know what the downside is and there's always a place sooner or later to find a fix for the situation so anyway that kind of accommodates for most of the difference between the profit generated in the demo account today and the profit generated in the live account. So let's go take a look at the open positions um, in both of the accounts. And I have these sorted here by time with the most current trade at the bottom. And so anyway, we can see that the most current open positions currently are things that happened on 5.10. One trade from 5.10, several from 5.9. This was last week. So anyway, what that tells us is um, nothing, you know, only those few trades came out, but all of the trades that went in today on the 14th came out because there are no open positions uh, with dates more current than May 10th. What that tells us is that uh, pretty much nothing happened today. You can see the same scenario going on over here in the demo account with the most recent trade in the demo account from May 11th. Um, but that, you know, that demo account had been picking up trades uh, that several of which never transferred over and 
became trades in the live account for whatever reason. So the demo account still does have a few more trades than the live account and some of the trades are very very similar and some of them are not. So anyway we're still working on why there is such a significant difference between the two. But anyway the fixers are still down here. They're still ready to go in uh, when you know the market moves into a situation where those fixer trades for all these hedges would be applicable. And because of the time of the day that it is, the uh, negative PL is, it looks a lot worse than it really is because the spreads right now are very high because we're at the end of the trading day. Negative PL really is running, you know, right, right at about $1,000. So right now it just looks you know, considerably worse than it really is. And here in an hour or so, it will come back down. And that's dependent on when the spreads come back down and narrow back down for the rest of the trading day. So anyway, I am actually on holiday this week. So what I'm going to do, this is a perfect opportunity to test the EA because what I really want to see this week, since I'm not going to be minding it and paying attention to it and, uh, you know, doing much to manipulate the hedges or anything like that, this, is, this week will be a good example of what happens when you can go on holiday and not worry about it. You know, not worry about the, you know, your trading platform and your trading account getting much worse, you know, it might not get a lot better, but it might not get much worse. And that's what we all want, right? <laughs> so that we can go on vacation and, and just not worry. So anyway, I will be in, in and out, hit and miss throughout the week. But uh, as far as that goes, I'm not paying too much attention to the EA this week. I'm just going to let it run its course and see what happens by Friday. So it should be an interesting week. So anyway, please uh, check out my website, www.mindyyost.com, if you want more information on how you can trade without taking losses in Forex. And I'll see you tomorrow. So have a great night and happy trading. Bye-bye.